So I was really enjoying the Merle Haggard rabbit hole. And, you know, I'm trying to be efficient. Get in depth, but move things along. I know how you internet people are. It's hurry up and get to the next thing. Change up your look, PJ. Let your hair grow out a little bit. So I'm thinking, one legend, we roll right into another legend because that's just how we do it over here. Legend after legend. You riding along with me, watching me learn about this stuff. But oh no. Oh no, some of you, some of you don't want me to be efficient at all. So I heard from somebody in Texas, PJ, you've done a wonderful job on the Merle Haggard thing. I sure wish you would have played more songs. That's how it sounded to me while I was reading it. I sure wish you would have played more songs. I don't know. And then somebody else chimes in. Dude, the whole 1994 album, you haven't played one song off of that. Listen, people. I'm in the business of giving the people what they want and if the people want more Merle Haggard then God dog it more Merle Haggard it is let's go Sound around the 
some kind of a editing thing here so it's a nice smooth transition but <clears throat> one of my other personalities insists on me mixing things up a bit PJ you need more followers man you gotta spice things up man you gotta let your hair grow let your beard get shaggy. Talk crazy to these people, PJ. Whip them up. Stir up some controversy, man. Get your numbers up. What are you doing? This meek and mild professor type stuff is just not working. Get your numbers up. Stir up some controversy, PJ. Well, I will not be stirring up no controversy. You be quiet. Get back in there. <sighs> Sorry about that, folks. So, back to Merle. So, I've been listening to, like, vintage Merle, right? 60s era Merle is pretty much what I've been listening to. Um, I want to say maybe 72, 74. So between like 60 and 74 is kind of where I've sort of been focused on up to this point. Wow. 1994. Decades later. And the band sounds as good as he did on Mama's Hungry Eyes. Better. Obviously, he's honed his craft by this point, right? He could do this stuff in his sleep by this point. And you can tell, well, it is my opinion that at this point man he is just like just living the dream this ain't work it's all about inspiration and yeah I can do that one really good let's go let's get in the studio at this point I loved it I love the upbeat tempo here. I love the playing with his voice. I love the lower octave. 
relative uh, that he goes to here. Um, it was fun. And again, in my mind, I'm at Gillies. Y'all know, with my ostrich boots on. Yeah. Yeah, you know, tall neck. Me and some of my rowdy friends. Yeah, man, all in my head. I have a vivid imagination, people. Thank you for letting me share it here with you on YouTube because I can't share it anywhere else. <laughs> They'll lock me up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>